We go. I swear to God, that McDonald's fight is one of Round of applause. Round of applause. For real. No, I don't know. You think I can have a bowl? Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Vintage Habits Podcast. I'm here with my guest, Keegan. We are the season three. Excited for it. First episode. Um, before we start this episode, though, I got to give a shout out to our sponsor, at Vintage Jordy. Um, Jordy has the best collection of jewelry from rings to chains. If you want to copy some fire ass pieces, use code VHP for 15% off site wide. The link will be in the description. So, uh, yeah, shout out Vintage Jordy. Let's get into it, man. So, uh, shit, bro. <laughs> hey, season three. Um, but fuck all that. Tell me about you, man. So, you started YouTube how long ago? Yeah. Shit, I started. Um, my first video was uh, uh what's it called? Little like Fortnite thing with my brother because uh, he just got a switch. Right. I think it's like back in 2016 before quarantine and stuff. He got his switch, and I was like, bro, let's make a video. So I I named it. Um, battling the best Twitch streamer, right? Um, on on Switch ever. <laughs> <laughs> How many views does that shit get? Oh, like none. <laughs> Probably like a hundred or something. I don't know. Damn. Okay. And so after that, did you just keep doing videos like that, or was like, what was the point where you were like, okay, I have what I want to do set as for YouTube? Okay. So. So I used to do videos like types of, uh -huh. like I did like types of sleepers, types of eaters and stuff. Right. And then those were getting like some views, but then, then I lost my phone because I put it on the back of our car mm -hmm. and my mom went to Kroger. So I lost it for mm -hmm. like a year with no phone. Damn. I got it back quarantine. I was really big in that watching anime and okay. playing um, like games and stuff. So yeah. that's all I did. I had no videos or anything. Right. I wish I could go back to that time. I'd be making videos <laughs> so much. Thanks. But, but like a couple months ago, I was like, "Damn, bro, I'm like done sitting at home. I want to be known by people. You right. know what I mean? Yeah, for sure. So I just started making crazy videos. Yeah, and that's just what it came to. The content and shit. That's what's up. So, okay, what like you started on YouTube? What made you trans transition to TikTok? Like, what was the point where you were like, okay, I want to transition my content to TikTok? Okay, TikTok. It's just crazy, it's fun, blowing yeah. up like crazy. Yeah. And I know that's where like I need to blow up. Mm -hmm. Cause YouTube's really hard to blow up. Oh on, hell yeah. You know. Yeah. Like yeah. you could post the most craziest content yeah. and it's just so hard to blow yeah. up on. But TikTok, it's kinda easy. Mm -hmm. like, it's not easy, but you know, it's way right. easier. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I just like been consistent on TikTok. Right. Now I'm actually like I was gaining some but then it like went on a dead period for like right. two weeks. But now I'm actually like yeah. gaining a lot of followers and stuff. So that's going. That's that's what's up, man. Nah, for sure, for sure. Um, it's hard on YouTube for sure, cause like I've been at this shit for six months and we only got like 300 subs, yeah. which is crazy. But I don't know, cause I've seen people who blew up off TikTok and then transferred all their followers to YouTube. But I can't seem like people don't want to follow me anywhere else. Yeah, honestly. I hate TikTok, bro. <laughs> I think it is the worst app. Yeah, getting a shadow man sucks. That's yeah. like probably the worst and thing like, that can happen. I just do not like the TikTok people that created it, bro. Yeah, they yeah. just they always be banning sense. me and stuff. Exactly. Yeah, so I get taken off of lives and shit, so I I, I can't even do any more lives. Yeah, bro. But. Like, like the milk video, like nothing mm -hmm. even happened. Like millions of other people have posted them, yeah. and they got taken down. So tell me about actually what happened there. So y'all went with what? First of all, what was the idea of going into Walmart and throwing milk? Like, where, <laughs> where did that come from? Okay, so I was watching Jiddy Jiddy on. You know mm -hmm. who that is? Yeah, I know Jiddy on. So I was like, damn, I need to do some crazy stuff. And then I just went on TikTok. I was like looking up um, like crazy stuff to do, mm -hmm. and the milk thing popped up. I was like, damn, Gideon hasn't even done this. So I just I was like, we need to do this. I right, texted right. in my YouTube friends group chat. And yeah, like, we got to do this. And then one friend was down. His name is Rylan. Mm -hmm. He's banned from that Walmart <laughs> too. So yeah, we just we just did that. We like got in the aisle and we like dabbing each other up. Yeah. It, was the most, it was the craziest moment of my life. I was so scared. <laughs> then we just did it. And then so. It it did pretty successful on TikTok, right? Yeah. Yeah. It got, it was, like, yeah. In the first like um let's say like week or two it got like I'm like six thousand, but then like two days ago it got like 
It was up there like fifteen, twenty thousand, oh, and they shit. took it down. Ah, oh, damn, like, damn, shit. damn. Um, yeah. So, okay, so y'all did the video. Yeah. What happened after the video? Okay, so my dumbass <laughs> went back to Walmart, right? Because I needed like stuff for my room and uh -huh. car and stuff. So I went back to Walmart, and this lady, she's the manager there. Right. She watches all the cameras. She like just riding on my dick all the time. Okay. Mm -hmm. And she called the cops five minutes of me and my brother being there. Wow. I had my hood on and everything, so I was like, nothing's going to happen, you know? Yeah. So we were getting stuff, and we were going to check out, and these cops came to us. And they were like, hey, just the boys we're looking for, come with us. And I was like, damn. So we went to the back room over there, and they just, like, talked to us for, like, an hour. What were they saying? So they are about to press charges. The lady goes, the lady goes, I'm pressing y'all with um, destruction of property, trespassing, and... Um, one other thing, but I I don't know what it is. She was what? like, "What's up?" When y'all first did the video, they kicked you out, yeah. Oh no, we ran out. Oh y'all left. Yeah, cause you, I don't know if you know, but you know my video smashing into people's carts with a helmet on. I don't think I've seen that one yet. Okay, so I was doing that. They took that off YouTube. Uh -huh. Um. So the lady that came up to me, she said, "If y'all ever come back and do some crazy stuff like that again, then y'all are banned for the rest of y'all's lives." And so I oh. knew I could not be caught. So you weren't even supposed to be there for the milk shit. Yeah. So wow. when I did the milk shit. Me and my friends, like I was, I was like, I don't know where I am to this old lady and stuff. <laughs> so we ran out. Mm -hmm. One of one of the cops actually grabbed my friends, but he was like, I'm not with them, sir, and yeah. stuff like that. So we just dipped. Damn. Okay, so you're in the room and they're talking to you guys and they're about to press charges. So what happens? So they're about to press charges. She was either like, you can go to um, juvie tonight, or you can go to court. And I was like, damn. So I was acting super scared. My dumbass brother, bruh. He's 13, you right. know, 13 year olds are crazy. He was just watching TikToks and laughing and stuff. I was like, bro, you can't do that. So, uh, so the lady tells me all the charges and I'm like, bro, for milk? <laughs> and then the cops like, this is not a joking matter. So, um, so the cops actually helped me out. They were like, they talked to her and stuff. That's why I didn't get any charges right, pressed on right. I mean, It was milk, like they weren't trying to deal with that shit, you know? Um, so they called my parents. My parents had to go up there. They were really mad. Yeah. But my parents are cool. They like get me. Yeah, yeah. They I mean, get... they probably watch. They watch your videos, yeah. 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 Okay. They like yeah, get okay. why I'm trying yeah. to like do the craziest right. stuff. You know, that's just pretty much it. Yeah. Damn, bro, that's crazy. So you're banned from all of them? Yeah. Shit, bro, yeah. that's wild. In what the, the fuck? The world. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the only. Yeah, there's no way they're gonna be like looking for you, dude. That's fucking crazy. Wait, didn't you just go back though? <laughs> <laughs> Bro, my dad texted me up. I needed cat litter. He was like, I need some cat litter for the cat. Bro, I saw you on your story, and I was like, Bro, <laughs> I thought this man said he just got banned. Yeah, me and, me and my girl, um, we went to uh, what is it, Dollar General, mm -hmm. and they were closed. So we had to go to Walmart. I put a mask on and my hood on. I was so scared, bro. I was so pissed. Bro, I be cheesed, bro. God. Walmart's like essential too, bro. Like it's yes. like, it's not like it's not like fucking Starbucks or something. You know where you can go somewhere else. Like Walmart, you have to go to Walmart, yeah. But I went to that Walmart because that's where like I feel the most comfortable. Like, Walmart is just weird. Mm -hmm. like, where did you do Providence. the video at? Was that Providence? That's right. Oh shit, yeah. shit. So I did it there, and that kind of sucks. Cause I've always went to that Walmart. Yeah. No. Yeah. What um, what videos do you have planned for the future? If you don't mind sharing that, oh, is that is that top secret content? No, I'll share them. So um, I got one coming out. We did like half of it, and then all my friends had to go home. Mm -hmm. So you know, like the screaming and yeah, yeah, I love those. Yeah, this is so funny. I'm about, to, about to drop that. I think we're gonna do it like Monday or something. Okay. But I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna do. I want to do a video like jumping in people's carts, like randomly mm -hmm. jumping in their fucking carts. That'd be so funny. They're just like. It just sounds funny. And then one, this is my best idea. Being fake, being blind, and running into people's carts. Like, how are Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, yo, dude, you had ideas. Like, that's crazy. Nah, we were talking, I was talking because there's not many creators in Julia, yeah? Yeah. So, it's me, pretty much, Kai, uh, like, two other guys I know, and then you. So I told her like four or five people that are really doing it, bro. But like I can tell you're about to blow up, man. Cause like a lot of your videos are like similar to like Gideon, Danny Duncan, like funny ass content from like crazy ass shit, bro. So like I can definitely see you blowing up in the near future, man. That's just gonna that's just gonna take off for sure. But um Yeah, so what's what's one tip you would give to somebody who's trying to like just 
like blow up. Just say fuck it. <laughs> like I'm for real. <laughs> like I talked to one of my uh, fans the other day about this. She was trying to like grow and stuff and start a YouTube channel. Right. And then she was like, but all of my friends at school make fun of me and stuff. Oh. Like I don't give a fuck about right. that. Yeah. It's like if you make fun of me, good for you, bro. I'll nice. make a joke about it. Like everybody on my TikTok, like. He ain't pushing P. Oh, bro, that shit is so annoying. <laughs> bro, that shit is so annoying, bro. Oh, and <laughs> and I'll just, I'll just be like, sorry, daddy, I'm not pushing it hard enough, and just like some gay stuff, and they're like, bro, this shit is not it, bro. This shit is not, bro. You're just helping Man. me out when you hate on me. You know Man. what I mean? Everybody at the school was saying that for like two days straight, and I was like, what does this mean? Like, what is that? I don't, I don't. I was so confused, but nah, I can definitely tell. Like, you're pushing out way more content than I do. Like, man, I went into... So, 2021, I blew up on TikTok back in, like, June, right? So, let me tell you how it happened. So, I was originally... How many followers do you have? Uh, 6,000. Okay. So, I was lower than you at the time. I was at, like, 3K, yeah? Mm -hmm. And I posted this video. And I was on the plane. I went to a trip to Chicago. I remember exactly. I was still doing the podcast. It was right after the Blake episode. Okay. Yeah, and so I did the podcast, and then I went into – I was at the airport, and I posted this TikTok of just, like, hardest accessories. Yeah. I was low-key bored. Mm -hmm. Bro, so I'm looking at my phone. Hour hits by. That's just, like, 6K views. So I'm like, okay, it's just going to, like, average out around, like, 10K, right, bro? Two hours hits by, 40K, bro. I'm like, oh, Damn. shit. So I'm, like, hyping up, right? And I'm, like, I'm hoping this shit don't stop, bro. Three hours later, that shit's at, like, 250, bro. And I'm, like, what the fuck? Like, this is the highest video I've ever had. It was at, like, 30K views. And then it just kept blowing. Like, it still gets likes to this day, like, yeah. after six months. And so I think after, like, two weeks, it hit, like, a million. And I was, like, yo, this shit is fucking crazy, bro. And so I kept doing the content. So I, I like... I like to call it the best method I have for blowing up on TikTok is it's like kind of like piggyback writing, right? Yeah. So what I do is I find a – it's called the hacker method what I use. But basically I find a creator who's already like successful. So mine would be a hacker, yeah? You know what that is? Yeah. So I go to his TikTok and I use his sounds just on my videos and it works every single time, bro. I'm telling you, it works every single time. Yeah, it works every single time. You just have to find a creator who does similar vid content to you yeah. and then use that sound and add a little spice to it. But yeah, it blew up. And then like, and I haven't had a video hit a million. I think the closest other one was like 800,000. But I was smart about it because I put on the hashtag, I put hashtag vintage habits, bro. I, bro, it was a finesse. It was a finesse. And so I've been doing that ever since. I think the hashtags are like 9.1 total, like, views. But, yeah. And then I think my last blow up was maybe like two months ago. It was like, it was before I met Sayla. It was like that that day before, like two days before. She's like a uh, popular TikToker. But it had I hit 500K and then... An hour later on the next video, I hit 500K back to back, bro. I was so Dang. fucking geeked, bro. I was like, yo, this shit is live. But you know the craziest part about it? What? I made no money off of TikTok, bro. I made oh, no yeah. money off of fucking TikTok. <laughs> TikTok bro. I'm, like, I'm like trying to get to 10,000. Because it's like, they just sent me the emails and stuff. It's like, you're almost there. Keep grinding. You'll get money and stuff. You got, bro. No, bro. Fam. So I, I applied for the creator fund. Got declined. And they, you don't, they, you can't reapply after that. Like what? once you get declined, there's, there's no reapplying, bro. I was like, what? I was so f***ing cheese. And so, but they're sending me money for like lives. So I get the gifts, but like, bro, nobody's in my f***ing lives, bro. Like nobody, nobody gives a fuck. Damn. And they're definitely not going to yeah, do me because yeah. I've had so many strikes and stuff. So I would say suggest that like, if you really want to make bands off that shit, then go just do Instagram deals. So what I did, how I started it is what I, I would hit up like a bunch of like, low-key like streetwear brands and i'd be like hey pay me i'll do a promo or send me some free shit i'll do a promo and i mean it got me a whole bunch of free shit like a whole bunch bro i got shoes you get i mean some of them do like offers like i think my biggest one was like, 70 dollars for one fucking video bro like this shit was fucking crazy but i mean 
through Instagram because like they want if especially like for someone like you who has potential they're definitely gonna invest in you mm -hmm. so just hit up people I can send you some people that I think we'll pay, but hey, hey, but you are answering all my questions. Yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah, bro, they'll send you free. I, I've gotten free hoodies. I've gotten free shoes. Like that rug I got, that shit was free. <laughs> like yeah. yes, bro, yeah. chains and shit for my uh, plugs. But yeah, and then like if you do good, they just keep sending it. They keep paying you type shit. So. Nah, but no money off of TikTok. TikTok is bogus as far as payment, bro. Payment, payment bro. I, like, I heard they give you like no money even if you're making bro. money. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Like they they're just they're bogus with it. I think it's like one dude hit like ten million on a video and we only got like six hundred dollars, bro. I'd be like so fucking cheese. What is that? But the thing I like about it though is that YouTube pays more. Oh yeah, yeah YouTube yeah, pays a YouTube lot. YouTube pays more. YouTube pays more, but it's harder to get blow up on yeah, i've learned i've learned like all this i watch the videos like the title is like no bs this is how it actually is so some people get like two dollars per thousand views some mm -hmm. people get like five dollars per thousand views. right it's just like if you're blowing up at that time right yeah 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 facts no nah, that's what's up uh what animes have you gotten into naruto's my favorite naruto's, naruto's your favorite yeah naruto's yeah i've seen a couple of who's your favorite character who what's your moral Ochimaru. Really? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm an Ochimaru fan. Mine's Itachi. Itachi's tough. Itachi's tough. Itachi and Pain, bro. Pain's oh. Pain's fire. Pain's fire. Ochimaru. Um. Itachi. I don't like Naruto. I, if I'm really? being honest, no, I don't like Naruto. Neji's tough. Yo, oh, Neji's fire. Neji's say. fire. Neji's so Who's tough. Your favorite Naruto mode. Like, what do you mean? Like my favorite Sage mode. I don't know why, I just love Sage. Mm -hmm. Like Sage mode, um, Six Pass mode, Kurama mode. I don't think I've gotten that far. I'm gonna be honest with you, I haven't gotten oh, that far. You haven't watched all thing? No, no. I Dude, I've seen like, I've seen like, the Shippuden, I got like season eight maybe. Damn, you gotta keep watching. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so they're still kinda, they're going into like the teen phase, and then from there, I was just kinda like watching clips and shit. Wait, so you have seen Naruto Sage mode? Lord, like the first episode, he like is on the pole, and then he's like sage mode and stuff. What's no maybe I don't know. Last time I was like binge watching Naruto was quarantine, so it's been a minute. Yeah, I was watching Naruto in like I don't know two weeks or something. Shit, oh damn, damn. That's how I was for Bleach for a while. I don't know if you've I seen that one. That. Um, what's another good one I got put on too? Attack on Titan is fire. It's fire. I haven't watched it. What? Yet. Everybody's telling me to watch that one too, bro. <sighs> Um, Demon Slayer. You watched Demon that? Slayer. Yeah, I finished that. I finished that. I finished. That. I haven't seen the movie. I haven't seen the movie. They, I haven't seen season two either. Oh, no, I saw season one. Fine, the movie's good. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I gotta. I gotta check that shit out. Um. Have you watched Hunter Hunter? Hunter Hunter, Hunter, Hunter Yeah. On season four, I think. Damn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in quarantine, I watched thirteen hours that straight. Bro, I was. It was on Netflix, and I was like, I binged that shit, and then. I hate when they stop the season, bro. Oh. And it's like, what the fuck? Because I'm not buying Crunchyroll, dog. <laughs> nah, bro. Nah. But Hunter x Hunter, I've seen. What's the other one? Um, Seven Deadly Sins. Have you seen that one? Mm -hmm. That's a good one. One Punch Man is another one. I've That's funny as fuck, bro. One Punch Man is you fire. Seen, you fire. seen um, Black Clover? No. I've been trying to get on that one, too. Austin's hard. I've been trying to get on that one, too. Baki? Dude, that one's a fighting anime. It's so tough, bro. It's so yeah, tough. The thing with them, though, is they're so fucking long, and, like, I just get lost, bro. <laughs> like, I'm either not motivated to watch anime, or when I watch one, I just, like, it's so slow. Yeah. It's so slow. I don't binge anymore. I don't have the time. I don't have the time. Are you ever going to give up on YouTube? No. No. <sighs> Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. The thing with me, though, is that it's just got to be, like, certain... Like, certain weeks, especially, like, TikTok shit, certain weeks, bro, I'll be, like, so fucking motivated to do it. And then certain weeks, it's just, like, dead, you know? So, I don't know. I'm kind of seeing progression. And as long as I keep seeing that, I'll keep on going. But, like, if I don't see any more, like, you know, improvement, then I may stop. I may oh, stop. This is the biggest thing for me. Okay. I was watching um, Before They Were Famous. You know Speed? Mm -hmm. Okay, so he was like grinding and stuff. He had a hundred thousand followers, mm -hmm. and one day he like got a clip of him hitting like three hundred thousand, but all of his followers like unfollowed him just so he would rage and stuff. Uh -huh. And they posted on TikTok. He got a million the next day. Wow! What 
about. Are you talking about like the 24 hour live? Do you remember that one? I'm was it 24 sure. hours? I remember he did a live and it was like, dude, he was hitting like some crazy ass shit, like 100K new followers on YouTube, like every yeah. three hours or some shit like that. And he was on live with it. And then Aiden, that's when Aiden picked him up. Yeah. That shit was crazy. He was like, we'll fly you out to LA, bro. If I had an opportunity like that, bro, I'm taking yeah. that, fam. I think in I'm March, he he got a million followers yeah. out of nowhere. And if he would have quit, then it would never happen. Yeah, Aiden happened. It happened with him because he did the clip with Bronny, I think. Yeah. Bronny James, and then he blew up. And now they're all living together. Right. right. Crazy. I was thinking about, like, going to LA for a week and posting mad content because I feel like if I lived out there, I would have blown up. Because yeah. you just, like, you know people, like, the connections are there, you know, you feel me? So as long as you have like one person, it could be like someone like who just knows somebody else. As long as you have that one person, you can blow up. Like imagine me getting fucking Aiden Ross or Gideon on the yeah, podcast, yeah. you know, my shit's taking off. You know what I'm saying? So I'm just waiting for that moment. I'm trying to get, trying to get this shit up. Another thing is like, what's hard is posting clips because I don't, like I said, I don't post on my main TikTok a lot. So it's harder for me to post podcast clips on the Instagram and the TikTok, yeah. but I'm trying to figure out, trying to find somebody to actually do it for me. But nah, man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to, hopefully I blow up, you know, it's, it's, it's a long ass road I've heard for some yeah. people, but bro, I've been, I've been like grinding. Yeah. Like I got this um thing where it's like one month of just like, I got post hella TikToks and stuff. Oh shit! And oh my, it's so tired. Like I be falling asleep in school and stuff. Oh, bro, that, hey, that's how you know it, dude. That's how it was, man. I was falling asleep. I was I was doing bad in school, man. I was posting, but it was it came out worth it for me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Um, and so, yeah, it's just it's a long ass journey. It's yeah. a long ass journey. I'm trying to do this thing where like, it's I think it's called like Content Week. I don't know if you've heard of that, but like pretty much it's like some content creators will have different ones where it's called content week. And basically mm -hmm. you post as much content as you can in a week, but you decide it like what year, like throughout the year. Right. So oh, like yeah. some people do it like March 1st through the, what would that be? The eighth, you know, or how, whatever, but it's one week. So I'm trying to figure out what my week is, but once that week hits, bro, best believe it's going to be four videos a day. I'm coming out with podcasts every single day. I just got to get the time to do it. It's probably going to be like spring break. I can't wait till summer, bro. Facts. Because, like, Facts. it's so fucking cold Facts. outside. Facts. And all these, um, like, videos I'll be making mm -hmm. outside. Mm -hmm. And it's just, oh, my it's God. Uh, what are you, you looking at any colleges? Nah. Bro. So, you full. So, it's, con it's, it's content or not? Like, no, you full. I'm going to have a backup. Okay, plan. okay. I'm okay. probably going to go to college two years. Two years. Oh, like a community? Cause, yeah, because I'm not trying to have debt or anything. But yeah, it's pretty much all or nothing. Cause right now, it's just like, my um, grandparents and stuff have texted me about this shit. Like, you're so crazy, keep <laughs> Bro, <laughs> it's wild. Bro, my grandparents watched the podcast too and they were like, you crazy much. <laughs> I was like, you don't have to watch it though. You know what no, I'm saying? No. You, don't, you don't have to watch it. You it's don't have just, to support me. Just, they don't get it. Like yeah. this, social media stuff they didn't grow up in our time right. like this is the way to make yes, money yes. I, don't, I don't know how to invest in stocks i don't really know how to like sell anything yeah. you know so this is like really the only way i know how to like yeah. put my shit out there and like people are really making money off of it is what a lot of older generation people don't understand yeah. like it's not it's no longer just like some bullshit it's like an actual job for some people mm -hmm. and i'm trying to get to that point you know i'm trying to get to that point that thing isn't just money like obviously i want to make my parents retire and stuff like i want to just give them a hundred thousand dollars be like you're never working again right but like i my thing is i want like fan mail to come in that's one of my like, biggest that's, things that would be fire i that would love be fire. that yeah fan mail damn i don't think i've ever gotten that I, I i've gotten dms that. but i want, nah. I want that so but you know how like did you used to watch YouTube back in the day? Uh huh. So they used to like do like fan mail openings. And yeah, stuff. yeah, I remember that. I, I want to watch those, yeah. but yeah, I remember that, yo. You got to get a PO box because there's so much fan mail, yeah, and then yeah. you have like a wall of just fan right, mail. That'd right. be so dope. Yeah, man, it was. I want to get to that point. I think my main goal in it, yeah, it's got to be the money, man. It's got to be the money because I want to be able to retire at like 22, 23. You feel me? And just like. I want to have a job that's not really a job. 
if you know what I'm yeah. saying, where I can just do whenever I whatever I want, whenever, and then relax. Mm-hmm. And like the hardest part for me though is knowing when to stop. Like for me, like if I was at a million followers right now, I don't I would probably still I'd be like, okay, gotta get to five, gotta get to ten. Yeah. So there's gotta be a point where like I chill out and I'm just like I can post a video and get like six, seven hundred dollars off a fucking video or some crazy shit, you know. But now I'm definitely in it for the bread, man. I'm definitely in it for the bread. Um, so what is, what would be like, are you, do you want to start like merch? Yes. That would uh, be fire. That, that would be, be fire. so dope. That would be fire. And like, once I get that big, I'm going to do a YouTube video, like all my friends, like with merch guns and stuff yeah. and like a pep rally. Just do you know, do you know, uh, Kai? No. Bro, you got to know Kai Miller. I'll, I'll send you his info, but he's the other content that I was talking about. He does vlogs and shit too. And he's been looking for people to do shit with. Really? Yes, bro. He's got like a camera. He's professional as fuck about it. But I'll I'll send you his info. He's been on the podcast a couple of times. But that's my homie. What uh, does he look like? Kind of shorter guy. Uh, dark brown hair, I think. He oh, dates sure. Emma something. I forgot her last name. But yeah, I'll hit you up with his info, dude. Because he's been looking for people to do content with. And so... Uh, I'm about to do the like... I'm about to get a monitor. Mm-hmm. I got a keyboard. I'm oh, yeah? So, so you're going to start streaming? Yeah, this oh, shit, 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 shit. He does like rage and stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, Cause I've, I've been wanting to do that for a minute too, bro. I've been, I don't know. It's a little, it's a little sketch though. Cause like, I'm just not good with consistency, bro. Cause like people get mad at me. You know what I'm saying? They're like, we want more content. You know, you're supposed to be providing this stuff. Yeah, but um, what's another tip I can give to you? If you want to giveaways, this is a good thing. Giveaways yeah. will help you uh, blow up quick, especially if you have like a loyal fan base. Like I did a giveaway, dude. I gained like 150 subs really? in like three days. Damn. Some crazy shit, man. That is crazy. Yeah, yeah. Um, and like saving up for him, like my homeboy, he will save up for like Supreme pieces or like you know people some hype shit, maybe some shoes, yeah. and then he'll just give it away. And it's just like people will follow and then they'll keep they'll be like oh shit this guy's content is actually interesting yeah. i'll keep following until he the next giveaway or whatever but that's a good tip um like you said consistency yeah. is important and being interactive is important too which is a good thing i'm I'm not really good at but like like a lot of times i won't answer my dms um oh, yeah i answer bro. everybody's bro. Nah. nah dude i get so many like i think some sh- it's like 18 a day bro like yeah it's crazy it's crazy it's crazy. crazy. And I'd be answering all my comments and stuff. I, I try, bro, but I don't know. A lot of times I don't know what to say because there's not – a lot of them are statements and not questions. You know what I mean? So, like, a lot of them are, like, drippiest dude alive. And I'm like, you know, what do I say to that? Like, thanks, you know? Up, <laughs> like, a couple days ago, I got one, a video that's, like, 400K. And then um, I post another one, like, 200K. Mm-hmm. And it was, like, it was, like, 700 comments. And, like – I just like all the ones that at people uh-huh. and then like the people that actually do stuff like everybody's like pushing P and I'll just put like the laughing emoji or something <laughs> yeah. or the P. Right, right. I don't get that shit, bro. I'm still lost on it. I don't mean pushing P. Push I don't, right. it just don't got, what it means. it's, I mean, yeah, what does it mean? Is it like player? Nah, what does it mean? it's not something that is explained. Okay. Yeah. It's something that is, um, acknowledged stuff like you right now, trippy fit, your P right now. I guess I don't I don't know I don't know it got it it was cool it got played out that's what it was for me it was cool and then it got played out it just pretty much means like bad and good like oh, uh, you oh. got this co- you got this podcast it's like B. you push it be <laughs> okay okay like, like but if you were like a drug lord <laughs> you'd probably not pee you know what I mean? <laughs> hey man hey man look I appreciate you swooping by coming into the podcast episode one of season three hope y'all enjoyed this if you're on the patreon you obviously get early access if you're not make sure to hop on that uh you want to do your shout outs for for we end this episode huh? yeah go ahead man shit hey shout out keegan to dowling on Facts. youtube and tiktok Facts. bro come out um yeah man go check out my boy uh, go check out the merch shop. Go check out the Patreon. Make sure to follow us on all platforms. You can also listen to this podcast on Spotify, Apple Music, Pandora, iTunes, uh, all that good shit. So make sure to go check us out. I love y'all, and I'll see y'all in the next episode.